What's up guys, Gurgang, Peeps, Padawans, this is Yoda Guru here for another installment of um, Season 1 of Mandalorian, of The Mandalorian, um, Episode 2 this time, and we all know what happened in the, the first episode since we all watched it last year, um, but um, we're also, uh, we're all almost finished with um, ep uh, the last two episodes of or remaining for Mandalorian, Mandalorian season two, which is um, bittersweet, but um, yeah. Um, but for right now, I'll be doing a reaction, re-reaction video to uh, something, some uh, something I may have missed, or just um, for nostalgia's sake, trying to do 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 some reflection and give my insights and thoughts as to what I was thinking and feeling during the time I was watching uh, episode two of season one of The Mandalorian. So um, let's just uh, jump into this. All right. Mando and um, Baby Yoda just basically walking through a canyon. And the first time I uh, watched this, I didn't uh, actually see the uh, reflection on Mando's helmet. I missed that part. And um, when I was watching other reactors watch this, I was like, um, I noticed that when they they noticed it. So I went back and watched it again. It's like that. Ah, there it is. That the um, the uh, the reflection of jumping from canyon to canyon. And the, and the creases to am, basically ambush um, Mando to get Baby Yoda, and senses are tingling. In the beginning, um, you, um, Baby Yoda was um, sort of being um, physically manhandled a little bit, in, in a way manhandled by uh, by um, by Mando, and um, in the early beginnings of, the, of uh, when they were together. But I see time going on, um, he really cares for Baby Yoda and or um, Grogu now. But back th back then, it was just Baby Yoda, and he just like. Is very gentle with him, not like in the beginning when you see him just like um, this uh, just very kind of forceful pushing him away from the uh, from the from danger and uh, with his egg. So yes, yeah, stark contrast from back then to now. The child. And little did we know that um, um, when uh, Baby Yoda was watching Mando uh, trying to heal himself uh, from his wounds, that uh, he would be like having his force ability, healing powers, uh, which would be a precursor to um, to uh, the rise of Skywalker. But that was way in the future. So, but. You know, this scene made us all smile when we watched it. I know it made me smile. Yeah, like I mentioned before, he's trying to distance himself from Baby Yoda. Because in his eyes, he's an asset, a way to get paid. But as time went on, he just got started getting closer. That distance between him and Baby Yoda emotionally and personally started closing in and to the point where he just basically um uh became 
became very close with him, so which we all loved loved to know loved about that. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Man, these location shots are awesome. Mando and Baby Yoda in the distance. Oh, man. The Jawa scene coming up. It's basically jacking his, uh, his ship, the Razor Crest. And I think this is uh, the, um, the uh, beginning of um, Baby Yoda seeing violence when it comes to his surrogate father, who will become a surrogate father. Yeah, the, the, the jaw was just shooting indiscriminately any which way, so... Which is kind of humorous. I know Filoni and Filabro, um, when it comes to this particular scene right here, are probably, quite possibly, I, and I think I know they're huge um, Indiana Jones fan or Harrison Ford fans, especially being that he was in Star Wars. Um, this scene in particular was in uh, from uh, The Last Crusade and the tank scene, so homage to the tank scene in, um, in, in The Mandalorian here from The Last Crusade. This scene right here, so nice. And Jawa just throwing stuff down to him just to get get him off their their, uh, their uh, vehicle. He's just spider manning up the side of the vehicle. Ooh, that smarts. Be hit with that many um, shots and then hit 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 the ground behind you. Yeesh. And maybe they would have looking concerned or worried. Probably both. Being that uh, he doesn't want him dead because he was uh, he was saved. And he'll be alone out in the whole wide world. If you were going to think about it, this was a starting point. Him and Mando, just basically him against everybody that's been out coming after him. I would be too get pissed off if um, if um, Jaw was or anybody for that matter that Jack my stuff. Especially the Razor Crest. That is a, a cool um, uh, aircraft. Ah, Tito Quill, and I'm I'm still saying this. He looks like a Filipino, a Filipino uncle. From now on, I'm calling him Tito Tito Quill. I have spoken. Listen to Tito Quill. <laughs> and baby, I was swallowing that frog. And laughing about it too, so. When I was watching this, I was like, Jawas having their own little bazaar. Come, buy your stuff that we stole from this guy with a helmet and a little baby alien. So. That scene right here kind of looks like um, from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Hello! Hello! Who is it? Weapons are part of my religion. Then you are not getting your parts back. Fine. It's the eye. Ooh, not good. That's not good. That is not good. That's not good.
the Mudhorn. It would have later become a signet, a clan of two. Which the armor would refer to in episode 7. Well, actually 8. Actually, episode 8. Pissed off Mudhorn. And his weapon isn't working because it's all muddy. Being, Imagine being hit like that and like a football player hitting you with full force. Jeez, that would be good. That's not, that, that wouldn't be, feel good at all. Oh, this was when I was like, oh, get Bibby out of there. I was like, uh, he's safe, he's safe. And he's going back to Mudhorn going back to beating up the beating up Mando. Especially this episode, he was a glut for punishment and just getting beat down relentlessly by the Mudhorn. Mud surfing. Could be fun in an under uh, under um, different circumstances, but not this. This should be a ride in uh, Disney World. Yeah, at this point, Mando's just gonna like um, say, "What the heck? If I die, I die," and just just basically just sticks out his uh, viper blade and just like hopes for the best. And we're like, Grr! and then here comes Yoda, baby Yoda, using the Force. I know well, everybody was cheering when this happened. The, the mud horn just basically force lifted by Yoda, baby Yoda. And you can tell it's um, baby Yoda is using all his strength, all his mental strength, physical and mental strength to lift it. And then he stops and he's all tuckered out. Mando just basically beat up his armor beat up so but he'll get upgraded in episode three so that'll be awesome to, to, to react to re-react to so and Mando just all beat up as he's looking down at his future foster son and I mentioned this before his him all being all muddy and um well, there's the egg. And I mentioned this before, and I actually got a tweet from uh, tweet back from Mark Hamill about um, when he was doing his uh, training with uh, Yoda and Empire. You never really saw uh, uh, Luke take a shower, and did he? And this 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 uh, this applies also with the Mando. Did he ever take a shower? Like, did Luke when he went to off to um, save Han and his friends in, in Cloud City? Did he take a shower? I got found that kind of humorous and awesome. I got a tweet from uh, Mark, a tweet back from Mark Hamill. But yeah, I was wondering, I was wondering, did the Mando ever take a shower? Uh, if there was even a shower in the in the Razor Crest, so that's a good point to bring up: the toilet and now a shower. So I was happy they got their egg, make some scrambled eggs or something like that, scrambled um, uh, mudhorn eggs. Or it could be some kind of drug for them, if you really think about it. Mudhorn has a, like a psychedelic ability. Tito Quill! Yeah, when I watch this scene in particular, it's like, is that all the stuff that was taken from his Razor Crest? There's got to be more than that. And it's like... There should, there should be like trucks load of uh, stuff that uh, that was taken from um, his razor crest. So yeah, yeah, we gotta tuck it out. Oh, little sounds. Anything he does, the Star Wars fandom just basically just basically loves him for it. Eating a frog, choking out Cara Dune, anything. He could fart and we could we could all love him even more. Uh, yeah. 
fart, a farting baby Yoda. That would now that would be uh, uh, something funny to hear and see. Yeah, the montage, the montage of Tito Quill and uh, Mando just basically fixing the ship. I love the montage. Just makes they compacts um, anything to uh, to um, to further the, further the scene itself. Looks good as new or old, depending on how um, uh, uh, how, how long uh, Mando has had the Razor Crest. But it's looked like it's been through a lot of battles, many battles as a bounty hunter. But iconic ship nonetheless. And now Mando has an ally um, eventually um, when it comes to being um, helping him in his quest. I have spoken. Yes, Tito Quill has spoken. We will not see the last of you, Tito Quill. You will show up for the next adventures of Tito Quill, Mando, and Baby Yoda. And Baby Yoda just sleeping it off like a baby. Like the baby Yoda he is. The, using the Force tuckered him out for any baby, even though he's 50 years old. And then we suddenly see him just start waking up. Which is the cutest thing ever. He's like thinking, what happened? What did I do? Did, I, did we win? Did we win against the Mun Horde? So I was like, but yeah. Um, awesome episode. And there you go, guys. Episode 2 of Season 1 of The Mandalorian in the books. Um, hope you enjoyed my re-reaction video. And I hope Tito Quill trends. Um, at least trending um uh that to the point where um it everybody says tito quill every time they see him on screen when it comes to re-watching um the mandalorian season one and and you i i started first i take credit for that if that happens um because he does look like a Fili filipino uncle like um one of my you know, i can name like i said before in and in the first video I made for my reaction reaction to it, that he does look like one of my uncles, or at least five of my uncles that uh, I'm either related to or not related to. Um, you can bank on that. So I can, yeah, like I said, I can name five. Um, so, uh, anyways, um, when it comes to um, our the uh, episode 15 of, well, actually no, yeah, 15 of season. Two, I'll have that out uh, when uh, when uh, the new episode comes out on Friday, this Friday, which we all can't wait for. I know I can't. Um, now, when it comes to episode three of season one of The Mandalorian, that will be um, hopefully put out by, by the end of this week or by this week. Um, but, um, hey, uh, uh, hope you enjoyed any of my videos when it comes to my channel, The Inner Sanctum. Um, speaking of that, if you thoroughly enjoy, enjoyed any of my videos, hit like, and uh, or this video in particular when it comes to um, do my Mandalorian re reaction videos. Uh, thank you very much. I much appreciate it for the support. And if you want to be a subscriber, hit that little Yoda button right there on the right hand corner of the video and become part of the. Um, Inner Sanctum Gur Gang Peeps and Padawans. And with that said, um, like always, um, may the Force be with you. Bye, guys. Later.